I was coming home from hanging out with some friends, pulled in the driveway, and the car with government plates was in our driveway at 9, 10, 11 o'clock at night. That's not a good sign. Walk down over the driveway, and Dad said he's gone. When I lost my mom, I was still a little young to fully grasp the effects. So when I lost Mike, I lost a big part of myself. So what do we have here? This is Michael in front of his aircraft, C-130. It's hard to convey to people what kind of a person your son is because everybody has a great son. He said to me one day, Dad, I want to be a truck driver. I'm going to haul logs. And I sat him down and I said, Michael, you only know Lee Maine. You need to go out and see the world and then decide if you want to come home and be a truck driver and haul logs in Lee Maine. I said, I suggest the military. But if I hadn't have said that, if I had said, go ahead and be a truck driver, Mike, he might be coming through the door right now. I'm sorry. It's not your fault, Les. I know. But you can't always control your emotions. And now the true horror of what had happened to Michael Severance is about to unfold. The investigative team makes its way to the 4 Sevens Ranch. To get to this ranch, you drive seven miles north of the city limits on U.S. Highway 87. You'll turn on a, a, one of the side paved roads and follow it for about three miles. There were approximately 10 investigators along with the uh, Texas Department of Public Safety dive team. It's not a great big pond. And I know it was cold and there's a little breeze which come off that water make it cold. It was kind of an uneasy anticipation about what would be found. We're all on the shoreline kind of watching where the divers are. These are guys who are like search divers. I mean, they have the boots and the big bell head and they run in air down to them. And all of a sudden, they said something and the guy, the diver that had the radio that was talking with them, and he looks up and says, they got him, they found him. He was wearing underwear and he had lots of different implements tied to his body. They knew something was holding him down because he just wasn't buoyant and then guided him to the shoreline where other ones were able to get him out of the water. And that's when we got him in the, in the body bag. Because of the cold temperatures in the water, the body had been preserved. In all the 36 years I've been doing this, I've never had a human remains in water with apparatuses tied around his person to hold him in the water. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.